And right, be ready with F12. Okay, and then select USB storage, and you'll get your little spinning cursor. It's flashing away. There we go. Now it's brought me to this screen. If I press down, it'll bring up options. So I'm going to boot verbose so that I know it's working. Together eventually. to our install screen use English for the main language now you can see the touch screen is working but it's slightly off unless it's in the center now I had a major problem with the touch screen getting it to work at all before so I'm not sure why it works straight away in the install but hopefully we won't have too many issues with it Ah. First thing I want to do, go to utilities. Now, be very careful. Last time I was in here, I deleted Windows. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. Now, you can see I've got a folder called Mac OS X on here. That, I believe, Yes, it is. It's my um, Mac operating system, which I'm just going to overwrite because I managed to uh, screw it up slightly by dicking about with things. Um, make sure it's set on Mac OS X Extended. Erase it as you would normally. Um, I'm not going to do that because, no, me, I'll erase Windows again. Uh, click on Agree. And then it'll ask you where you want to install it. So I'm going to install it on this one. Now you could go to customize. Uh, and there's lots of different options on here. I'm going to just leave all those as they are. Uh, language translations. Mm, that's true. I might get rid of those just so it's a bit quicker. Eleven, what's that? Uh, I'll leave that. Okay, so select Mac OS X, click on Install, and hopefully that should be it. About forty minutes remaining. 
Um, I'll come back to this in a little bit. Okay, so now that I've got 10.63 installed on my Jiro, I now need to install these uh, Kects. So the way to do that, go to Finder, go to Go, go to Folder. Uh, I'm going to go to directly to Extra. Okay, and then we're going to use this shoe update extra, but we're going to put our kex in additional extensions folder. So, Wi Fi is the Wi Fi AR9285, which extracts to this. I'm going to get the HDA enabler, which should do my uh, audio if I remember correctly. Hang on. Let's try to work out which button is my uh, Mac button on here. There we go. And the null CPU power management kext. Okay. And that's all the ones I want on there. So I'm going to copy those into additional extensions. Paste. Uh, asks for my password. Paste those in, then go back. Now it takes you directly out, so you have to go back to Go, go to Folder, back into Extra again, Update Extra. I should say Update Extensions. Okay, now that took a little longer than I expected it to, but installation complete, installation completed successfully. So now continue and close that. Uh, and now I'm going to restart. Restart. Obviously, if I want Windows, I have to go to the Windows section here. But if you're installing Windows after Mac, you just can set it all up in a decent way. <laughs> Not looking forward to having to try and sort that out. You can see Netbook Installer has the Apple sign off to one side for some reason. I think this is Merklot's preview package, though. That's why it, why it does it. Okay, so you've got correct screen resolution now. You've also got a little airport that I'm going to connect to Slacknet. issues at the moment with Wi-Fi for some reason. I'll look at that in a minute. As you can see, no touch screen working at the moment, but should do once you get into um, into 10.6. See, 
it works as a, a clicker. Okay, so now connected to the Wi Fi. Um, all I had to do was turn airport on and off, and it started working. And now, uh, hopefully, should have the internet. That's lovely. Um, and there's Google searching for hats. Alright, now you definitely need to do the updates to get it to 10.66 to get Bluetooth working and Um, and touchscreen working to a better extent. 